Hey everybody, it's Brandon from All American Thrills here. I'm standing with the infamous fourth generation of Knobles, Brian Knoble, Trevor Knoble, and Rick Knoble. We're here just to talk a little bit about Impulse, their exciting new steel coaster that they're building. It's actually under construction right behind us right now, opening in 2015. So I think my first question for you guys really is, um, what was what was your role in deciding and planning to build Impulse? So, what started out listening to our guests, uh, what Knobles needs? What, what, uh, what would complement us? What is the next ride for Knobles? As we sat down and we're talking about uh, the guests' wants and, and our need for something, uh, we took that this plan behind us uh, of the bumper boat ride and the boat tag ride, which were becoming a little passe. They were they were meeting their life expectancy, and, and uh, we came up with a, a plot plan. Went to the IAPA Expo a few years ago and started to talk to some roller coaster companies about. What can you fit? What can you provide for Knobles? What can you put in this location that does not change the face of what Knobles truly is? Do you guys decide the attraction um, yourselves or do you guys involved with that? Well, we also had uh, another uh, key employee with us named Jim Martini. Okay. And, uh, you know, he uh, went around with us at the same time. We went to, as Brian mentioned, a different manufacturer. But then uh, we narrowed down the list. And then we went to uh, some different locations to try some of those. Uh, uh, different manufacturers' rides, and uh, Jim Martini uh, came with us, and uh, we narrowed it down even further. Okay. All right. So, who's gonna who's gonna be interested in this ride? What you know? What what family members are gonna be most excited for this? The the, 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 the thrill seekers, the uh, the, the tweeners, the, the teenagers, the uh, the young adults that uh, uh, the, the, there's that, that maybe missing thrill that the mobiles of that. that uh, Inverted steel ride that we didn't have, so we so uh, hope we'll, we'll satisfy and rest of those, uh, those thrill seekers. Uh, but it, it's also, I think, going to be uh, a good family ride. You know, for the, maybe not the, the really small children, but the ones that are, are just uh, uh, coming up and, and getting used to riding coasters. They, they tried out the Phoenix, and they, they fell in love with riding coasters, and right now they want to take that next step and, and ride a, a great steel. Ride. Um, it, it's going to be a smooth uh, ride. Uh, it's going to you know, pack a punch, but uh, it's not maybe the, the tallest, fastest, craziest uh, you know, ride out there. It's, it's still going to fit, as we said, that uh, face of the normal so we are a family part. Right. So, um, was, was there anything specific you were looking for with the ride? Again, we wanted something that, that provided that, that uh, uh, you know, we didn't really have anything here at the park that had any inversions, uh, that, that, that steel uh, speed and, and, and smoothness. And the, the wooden coasters are kind of a different thing, a different thing, you know, they, they a different ride experience. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't have that, that steel, steel coaster ride. Um, but uh, no, we, we, one thing we, we decided on our, uh, as Rick mentioned, we went around and tried different rides from different manufacturers. Uh, we wrote some that were chain lift, and we wrote some that were uh, uh, LSM uh, launch type, type coasters. Um, we decided on that trip that we weren't sure going into it, but on that trip we decided, you know what, chain lift really adds an, an element that we like. It's that anticipation, that slow lift up the hill, it's going to come more and more ride time, and it, it, it gives that anticipation. Uh, the, the LSM launch is a lot of fun. Really, really are, but it's always so fast and, and uh, change. Right, build up the anticipation. Right. Like, um, wow, that's 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 impressive. So, um, obviously, it's kind of looking a little bit further out, but how much are you looking at for the tickets to ride? Uh, still being discussed. Uh, you know, we have a coaster option with our hand stamp our big one price now, and is it going to be included? Is it not going to be included? Coasters right now are 42 inches. Uh, this has to be 48 inches to ride. Uh, to complement what Trevor was saying, uh, you know, it's unique to Knobles. Knobles is that, that unique part. And one of the things is so many coasters have a train where this is just a single car, eight passengers, and the zero the manufacturer offered us that part, that element, that uniqueness uh, to do. So, uh, to answer your question, it's still being decided uh, okay. on, on the 
price and the pricing structure, whether to include it in the payment price, whether or not. Okay. So what would like the station be like, the queue entrance, anything specific with that, or were you thinking, well, at this point? We're still working on it. Um, Zero is the design of the station, or we decided to take that part of it on ourselves. Okay. Uh, we have a, a little bit further ahead than a framework. Okay. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty neat looking, okay. uh, but we're still working a little bit on the uh, uh, queue lines and, and the exit and so forth. One of the things we wanted to tie in again, the park, especially on this side of the park, this is this is uh, uh, a little bit of the, it's called the older side of the park where there's a lot of more original tra um, uh, attractions like the whipper ride, the bumper car ride, and, and there's some, some neat uh, Distinct architecture over on the side, so we wanted to kind of make it fit in a little bit to, to that. And so we're using some Art Deco flares to, to the station design, some things that, that uh, would make it seem like it, it belongs. Uh, All right, that's all very interesting. Um, so, what are you guys looking forward to the most with the calls yourselves? Uh, riding it. Yeah. Riding it. <laughs> so the whole project will be done, and yeah. we can get some rest. Oh um, yeah. yeah. Which one is going to be first to ride? We'll all be riding out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is Dick going to ride? Uh, yeah. Sure. All yeah, right. Sure. Excellent. He's paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just kind of a general, even more forward looking, what are your guys' vision for the future of Knobles kind of beyond in Paul's? Uh, you know, we just maintain and, and uh, keep, keep that same uh, uh, family friendly, you know, memories are made here. Uh, you know, traditions are passed down here. Um, you know, it's, it kind of it, it sort of grows organically. You know, we don't necessarily know uh, what's coming the next year or the year after that. We don't, we don't uh, necessarily plan out that quite that far. You know, uh, but our, our, I guess our main goal is to you know, keep, keep the place going, keep, keep pass it down to, to our children, and maintain it and be a family business. That's Rick, Trevor, and Brian Knoebel, the fourth generation. I'm Rick, and we thank them for their time, and we look forward to writing Impulse in 2015. See you, everyone.